What is up guys, Suspense here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I believe I'm doing my first non-trade block series trade block unboxing, which is in this package right here. I've already folded the edge of my tape nicely so I can just rip it off. But yeah, let's hop into the top down cam and get this shoe unboxed. I'm not gonna stall this, I'm very excited. Let's rip right into it. Here we go. Bang, that cardboard SB box. Pull these out, get that out of here. It's actually the first time I've ever had a retail of this box in hand. I did own a replica of this shoe before, but I do not have it any longer. There is the box label, no suggested retail tag, and a little bit of a cut right here. Oh, I obviously did not do that. There's also like a little bit of a stain or something there. Enough of that boring information. I will be doing a review on this shoe as well. I have my work cut out for me. I got a lot of reviews coming up. Here we go. We do have a date code stamp in there. You have a second edition trade block card number three of four, JJ, my boy. Bang, the camcorder or VX1000 SB Dunks. We do have the extra laces in the box, so I appreciate that. We got a little YCM sticker falling off down there. Obviously, now that I'm doing YouTube as well, this shoe is really cool to me. Even before I did any YouTube videos, I was a big fan of the look of this shoe. Obviously, just black and gray upper, can't go wrong with that, with the little accents. But it's these little camera references that I love with that little red hit, little record light, and the outsole, man, that is so dope. So I traded my social stuff status chocolate milk dunks and social status strawberry milk dunks for this shoe. I think I may have also added like 20 bucks to that just to sway the dude into trading them. I was a big fan of those shoes, but the chocolate milk dunks had some QC issues that I wasn't too happy with. They passed eBay and I traded them through trade block and they passed trade block. So I think it may just be that my standards for QC may be a little too high, but I was really not a fan. I couldn't overlook them. These also aren't DS laced. Now that I'm looking, they have these star lace in that a lot of people do. So I will check if these are tried on or just laced up that way. We have a super short nubuck here. This whole upper is like nubuck and this black is a weird feeling composite leather. My replica that I had of this shoe, the back here was super rough. It felt like no other material. It didn't feel like a leather. And we do have the red and yellow hits up there as well. The audio jacks, I guess. Let's see what the medial sides are looking like. Got program, shutter speed, white balance, record level, peak, control, player, nothing else on these swooshes. The vamp here, you can see the movement on that too. It's very nice, feels super soft. Got a little bit of a weird shape going on here, but I've seen that on a couple of dunks. It's like sunken in mid panel, so that's no big deal for me. Fat SB tongue, check out that tongue tag there. Also, yeah, I forgot to mention that as well. Where the hell is the other end of this lace? It was under the insole, which makes me believe that these might have been tried on actually, but it is what it is. The aglets are red and yellow as well. Like I said in my Ama Manier review with the insole, I just love little extra details just to be extra. Obviously this shoe is designed after a camera with all this other stuff here, but like this red hit and the yellow and red up here and the yellow and red on the aglets, just super dope. Got that green composite leather hit in the back. That Nike stitching is actually beautiful. It's got a little bit of a Nike E going on, that separate E, but not too bad. The fidelity though is amazing on those. Super tight stitching, super clean edges, very impressive. All right, let's hop in here. I'm also going to DS lace these. Got that firm zoom air unit in the heel. It is a quality insole. You can't just peel that away. Proper sizing there is well. Thank you SB Zoom Air branding there. Good fidelity on the edges with the timestamp been recording for a second. Footbed wise, we have a nylon strobel, one visible guide hole, and a good amount of black stitching in there. Again, I will be doing a full review on this shoe. Just kind of getting my first impressions. Doing a little QC check. Let me go ahead and DS lace these. Now, I know Batch, AKA Chris, did a little guide in one of his videos on how to DS lace. I think I do something a little different. So I make sure the tips are about the same length and I go all the way down to the bottom, wrap around my finger one time and then cross over to the inside, grab a little bit of the extra, slide my finger off to create that hole. Then I push the extra through and grab it. And then I basically just slide the whole knot down. And there you go. Put your two little loops there and then everything is tied around. And I will do this one off camera. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this shoe. It's almost like a semi-translucent gray outsole as well. Super dope. I love these shoes actually. I think I might not put these on trade block and these may just be a little keep for me. Nice rand here too, nice and low stitch down onto the vamp. There is a little bit of glue, but honestly, nothing that's really bugging me. Those chocolate milks had QC problems that were bugging me. Overall, super beautiful shoe. There was no signs of wear, nothing on these sock liners, nothing on the insoles. So this was a great trade in my opinion. Thank you guys so much for watching this unboxing video. If you like other videos like this, I do have an unboxing playlist. You can check it out here. If you like the video, leave a like, consider subscribing. Anyway, that's it for me today, guys. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.